What's up everybody, it's Tyler here from Second Glass. This week for the wine of the weekend, we have chosen four wines from South Africa. All right, so there's a lot of different ways to choose which wine you wanna buy. You can start with looking at different producers, but this can be a little overwhelming. Nobody really knows how many producers are sold in the US, but there's over 300,000, we know that much. So if you fall in love with one wine, being able to find it might be a little bit challenging. Another way to buy is based on grape or region. You could be like, oh man, I really love the wines from Bordeaux. And then you can kind of look for something and you know that if you buy a red wine from Bordeaux, it's gonna have a certain style to it. But you don't really know the quality level. So one good way to look at it is actually to figure out wine importers and buy from them. This week for the Wine of the Weekend, we've chosen some South African wines that all come from a small importer based in Chicago called Blue Crane Imports. The cool thing about getting to know a single importer is you know that all the wines are gonna be good. Most small importers have a very high level of quality that they wanna bring in, and they only look for brands that have that element of quality or sometimes it's a certain style. So the cool thing is you look on the back of the label, and even though this is kind of a lot of work, but you go through the steps, and you can discover some really cool new wines. But on the back of each label, it will say who imported it. So this is really small, but it says Blue Crane Imports. Obviously, you can't just go through the store and be like, look over every single bottle. You can go check out their website and see which other wines they have. If you like one of them, chances are you're gonna like some of the other ones. So Blue Crane's a cool story. It was started by Jim and John Clark, their brothers. You can hear the whole podcast I did with Jim Clark last year on our website. There's also a link, we'll stick it down here. But basically, Chicago-based guys started this import company, bring in really small production, really cool and interesting wines from South Africa, and we're gonna tell you about four of them right now. The first up is the Creation Winery Viognier. Viognier is a white grape, comes from the Rhone Valley, and this winery was started when a gentleman, who's a Swiss winemaker in Switzerland, married a South African woman, went and visited South Africa, saw this plot of land, and was like, holy crap, this is the perfect place to grow a vineyard. Started this winery back in 2002. Now they make really great wines. They have a Syrah, Syrah Grenache blend. And this wine, it's a white wine called Viognier. Really spectacular bottle of wine. Fruity, juicy, bold, yet still dry. Next up is the Catherine Marshall Merlot. And I have a bottle of it right here. Catherine Marshall's a winemaker and she was classically trained in Bordeaux and Burgundy in France. She found this cool climate region of South Africa. It really shows what South Africa can do in this like more classic French style wines that are coming out of a new world place that's a little bit hotter. Obviously Africa, hotter than France. The wines are really great. They have this really cool acidity that comes through that can really show off the crispness. The crispness. Give it a shot. Can't go wrong. Next up is the Stony Brook Vineyards Ghost Gum Sauvignon Blanc Semillon Blend. Ghost Gum is a tree. I know it kind of sounds like ghost gum. You're like, that doesn't sound very appetizing. The wine is delicious. So it's a blend of Semillon, which is a grape, and Sauvignon Blanc, which is again a grape. This is a traditional blend that comes from the Bordeaux region of France. Uh, that's what all white wines are in the Bordeaux region, usually a blend of the two grapes. These guys make it in South Africa. It's a family, Nigel and Joy started the winery. Now their son Craig runs it and makes the wine. Really cool, small production wine. It has this like bold juiciness that you get in like South African wines, but this really cool flavors in the crispness. Not that many people are doing Semillon, which is interesting. Check it out, great with sushi, great with fish, chicken, poultry. I haven't really anything. It's an awesome wine. Last up is the Iona Chardonnay. And so this is a Chardonnay that kind of tastes more like a traditional California style Chardonnay. This wine has won numerous awards, one of the best Chardonnays in South Africa. Again, all these wines are very small production. They don't make much of these. They're all family run wineries. Really great, heavy, bold, juicy, beautiful bottle of Chardonnay. Barbecue, find some veggies, some fish, barbecue that. That'll be totally awesome. Really great bottle of South African Chardonnay. Do not want to miss this guy. One of the best ways to find and discover new wine brands is to look at who imports them and try to find some of their other wines. Blue Crane Imports, they've been great. You can taste them at every single wine rat we're doing this fall. They'll have a full lineup of really great wines from South Africa. Check them out. Cheers. <laughs>